Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you uh, how to split those tails to support your fly even better and let it float a, a little bit more. How to tie this nice bayad body, nice thorax and nice uh, CDC wings. So as I was saying for the tail I'm using Cogdelion because it's one of the best materials out there for the tails of uh, mayflies uh, because it's natural. It has just right stiffness, it's not too stiff as microfibits and it's not too soft as for example some low quality rooster hackle. Uh, the bayet, I'm gonna show you tips how to make it nice and even and CDC I already showed those tips I guess in some of my previous videos. So without any further ado let's just hop into the tying of this fly. So for the hook I'm using uh, TMCO 900 BL size 14 maybe it's one of those universal sizes I guess uh, for the thread it's Semper Flea Nano Silk in 50 denier and now let's just go flatten the thread because you need flat thread to keep the bulk to a minimum as you can see, you can see the color of the hook showing here. Now, with again flattened thread, you will know that your thread is flat when it gets wide here. And then with wide thread, go over the hook shank to the starting point. That's it. Now, take your cogdillion feather, uh, choose even number so two four six eight whatever number of barbs and pluck them out so three this should be six now align the tips before you take them away so after you align the tips and that should be it just pull the feather that's it now about thread control First, you need to measure the size of the tail, whether you want it hook length or body length, whatever. It's up to you. I'm using those speckles to tell me where to transfer. So it's like this. Now, counter spin the bobbin. So when you lift up, release the pressure, the thread is going into your fingers. Go around and then pull upwards and then around no pressure pull upwards around no pressure pull upwards and as you can see the tails are on the top of the hook if I just keep the tension all the way it's gonna spin those uh, barbs around the hook shank because this thread when it's tightened it's like a wall pushing all the materials away you don't want that so release the pressure almost none and then pull it up so let me show you the previous wrap which is placed over here was not uh, didn't have any tension so it didn't push anything but when you pull this thread up you are going to tighten this part of the thread here and it's going down so it's not pushing the materials it's just uh, squeezing them under so no pressure no pressure I'm gonna rotate no pressure up no pressure up no pressure up and it's centered now move the dust I want to split the tails by it's easier to do it with if you have just microfibits uh, like a lot easier so I'm just gonna use my needle to help me thumbnail to roughly split and then 3-3 three, three, that's it now I want to do it first between those uh, barbs that are near me so I'm just gonna go with my thread through and go around and then here I'm gonna do it around far barbs around and then I end up here 
I'm just gonna help it a little bit with my fingers like so and this is relatively good job here I'm using six barbs so it's not easy to do it cut the waist now because I have tails here uh, you don't want to put your material on the near side because when you start wrapping conventional way you're gonna cover your tails let me show you what I mean So I'm going to use material that I'm using for this fly and this is um, by it. So if I start wrapping here, I'm gonna displace the tails, yeah. Now, I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna spin it around. Before I do that, I'm gonna cut this lengthwise to make it more narrow. Now I'm keeping this white part down. Let me just tilt it a little bit more. Counter spin the bobbin so you can use less pressure. Okay. And now with flat thread, I'm gonna, as you can see, it's a little bit more uh, wider here, thicker th here than it's here. So I'm just gonna compensate for that and do two more layers around the hook. But keep your thread flat because it's going to make your life easier as you wrap by it over the hook shank, uh, over the hook shank, yes. So I'm gonna use super glue to secure everything and I'm using gel because gel is going to give me some more time to work with this. Just gonna, you don't have to distribute it perfectly because I'm going to show you in a second. And now, as you move your bias, make your first wrap as close to the thread end as possible, but not overlapping the tail. And then, just keeping even wraps, wrap it around hook shank. And as you wrap, uh, the the bite is going to push you can't see it very well because I removed excess but like you can see it in the corner here that bite is pushing the, the glue away from it now I'm gonna catch it with just one wrap over here and one in front or two and then I'm gonna cut this as close as possible and cover it with a thread that's it your finished mayfly body okay that's it keep this flat it's nicely split in V that's all you need now let's talk about CDC CDC is one usually have curve so you want to utilize these curves like so keep them away so you get yourself split wing without even splitting it. It's not going to be a real split wing but it's going to increase the surface tension so by just using two feathers you're going to use more surface set tension. Now as you can see I'm just using my nail to catch the eye and see if this is right or not. Now if it is keep the angle you want. I want this angle. I'm gonna do it with the dubbing later on but for now I'm gonna keep it like so. Transfer my hands, spin the bobbin counterclockwise, go one thread wrap, two thread wraps, same as elk hair. Push your index finger towards yourself and then pull up, pull up, pull up, and then go in front and do some locking wraps. After you do the locking wraps, Cut the excess of the CDC as close as possible. And then with flat thread cover those butt ends. Okay. Make this transition here where my thread is now as smooth as possible because if you make a bump over here, it's going to jump down when you go with your thread over it. Allow your thread or help it 
to get flat so you can sp uh, split it. If you just let your bobbin hang, it's going to tell you which direction you should spin it to fast and fa make it faster. Mm, that's it. Now take some dubbing or CDC or whatever you want for your legs here. Make it relatively long. Like so. Insert it in your thread. And GSP is very good because uh, it's not easy to break and it will hold those materials much better than any other thread because you can apply more pressure. Now I'm gonna make this noodle relatively short because I don't need too much. In clockwise direction I'm gonna spin the bobbin holder. Spin the thread a little bit more, get this nice dubbing noodle. Now in touching grabs, so here I'm gonna lift the wings up with a couple of turns. Okay, now I can see those legs. Now keep those at an angle that you want and just continue wrapping, continue wrapping, and continue wrapping until you reach the place where you want your head to be. I want to remove, okay. Now move away all those hairs that are going to stick out where they don't belong. Make a couple of wraps and then with flat thread do a whip finish knot. And though use those touching wraps as you do the whip finish knot. Don't overlap and don't go wrap over the wrap. Just use wraps next to each other and pull backwards. Now to cut the GSP you can try to cut it like this but it's much easier if you do it with your non serrated blade. Just press, pull the pressure tension on this thread, on your thread and then just edge of the blade against the thread and it will cut it so you won't be able to see any tag and outside okay so this is finished fly as i said splitting the tails that will support your fly even better because of the increased surface tension again uh, increased surface tension with your cdc or here uh, a little bit of legs out of thorax and nice tapered uh bio body so guys i hope you liked this video if you liked it uh, please give it a like, subscribe and see you next time.